Hello there and welcome back. Today is video number two of my studio diaries. Uh, as you might know, I got a new studio here in Riverside and I'm building my dream space to create music. So one of the most important thing uh, to help my workflow thrive is the choice of the desk. In this video, I wanna talk about that. Uh, I wanna tell you why I landed in what I think is the perfect desk for my needings, the Zaur Miza Zay Flex. But I want to talk about why. Why the desk for me is so important, uh, give you the experience that I have in the previous desk and why they didn't really works for me. So before going on, as usual, the way you can support my page, you can subscribe, press the like button, super easy and free. You can buy from the affiliate link down below. You can become a Patreon. And in Patreon, I do more in-depth demo, review, one-on-one, -on -one lesson, whatever you want. Okay, let's go back to the topic. So this just arrived. Uh, it's incredibly beautiful and solid and it has a lot of characteristics that make me really happy. Before though, uh, talking about this full set that I bought from Zao, that is the uh, desk, the two stand and the uh, rack space, things that I, I, I bought. So uh, I hope to start a collaboration with them, but uh, so far I decided to invest in this beautiful uh, furniture. Before that, I wanna talk about my experience with previous desks. So uh, initially when I started, I just used simple tables. From there, I moved to raising table, which was kinda cool, but actually really impractical, and I end up never using the raising thing. So it was just, you know, for me, a gimmick that uh, was, wasn't really helpful. Then from there, I moved for a while in this, onto this beautiful desk made by Sterling, uh, which is the mastering console. Amazing, beautiful, but really unpractical again, because, you know, it was a lot of rack space and just a tiny space for synths. So it was not really what I needed. I was just, uh, was very eye candy. Uh, then from there, I had the output desk, beautiful desk, but had something that I really didn't like, and it was the height of it. Uh, whatever you set up, it was or too high to work on or too low. And I am a 6.4 person, two meter almost. And it's very hard to find a desk that suits my height. So with that one, it was touching my uh, leg or it was too high. It was very impractical to work when you sit. Plus, it didn't have a lot of space for synth. It was cool to have the rack mount but yeah it, it didn't really work out for me from that one i move and i still have that one in my italian studio i have two studio now one here that's more production and where i do things and that one is going to be more a mixing studio where i go and relax uh, and it's the buzo adi audio xl desk it's a beautiful desk again it's more suited for production in the box production and me not being that kind of person it's, it's, it's more useful when I do the mixing and mastering part. So all of this to say that I never found a perfect combination of things for me to work well. And then one day I was scrolling on Instagram and see uh, this beautiful profile of uh, Andref. He's a Japanese artist. I'll put the link down below. He has an incredible studio, probably one of the best looking studio I've ever seen in my life. Also, he do amazing, uh, he does an amazing movie, <laughs> amazing music, not movies. Uh, so please check him out. Uh, and I see this desk, this beautiful, huge gray desk, and he would put a lot of stuff on it. And I was like, wow, that is exactly what I need. That's exactly what I want. And uh, then I found out that Zaur made this desk. So as you can see, right now I am just having tons of stuff on it. I have um, my modular system, few uh, sequencer, the Godfather that I'm demoing, amazing stuff. I have my model one there, 
that I can keep and I still have so much space. I have the rhythm, another modular system, my computer, and so on. So I can put everything that I need. Plus, you have a very sturdy, beautiful, big uh, drawer where I put my complete control and the machine. So, this obviously allow me to create setup and leave it on the desk for a long time without having every time to move things, unplug, that was, was what was happening before. Uh, my idea now is having a side of my studio with all the uh, synth racked, racked or put on the Jasper stand, standard. I have, I will, I'm thinking to do a crazy thing and buy an amazing console, a mixer, and that was always something I wanted to have. So I think I'm gonna buy it and I will have on this other side a mixer and here I will have all the desktop synth that I use. So my workflow is mainly based on the use of desktop synth, not even keyboard, but you know, uh, it, it, it's all the boxes and I need space for them. I need a nice space with a correct height and depth. And this guy is perfect for that. First, let's talk about the height of it. As you can see, I'm sitting and I have my knees that goes well, nicely under this uh, drawer. The drawer can be raised or lowered, so I can actually, I could raise it a little more. It can also be better, but so far it's so good and I can play. And I'm using this part as my uh, in the box production part. It's where I will connect everything to, now that I'm using a uh, native instrument that I start loving for mostly commercial stuff. It's super easy, super fun, super fast to use. So I have the complete that also control all my synths through MIDI. And then I have the machina here to use it with this uh, software. And so this is gonna be my production part. I also have space for some effects and I have here the CXM 1978 and some space left on this other side. And then the full table, the tabletop, which is very comfortable to use even sitting. I can raise my, my chair a little and I will be perfectly using, but also when I stand, and now my head is gonna go cut, but whatever. It's good because I can reach to all the places and it's a perfect height. So I bet it could be pretty high for people that are not my height, but with the right uh, chair, you're gonna reach to everything. Of course, this is a desk that has a big depth and you need to think about that. Like, how am I gonna use the depth of it? Will I use it? Because if you don't need it, uh, this might be overkill, but you can actually use it for many, in many ways. You can put effects. I, I could have put my space echo there. Um, I like to have, for example, the modular case farther away where I can play with it. And then on front put my sequencers, or all the other effects. There's a nice cabling management on the back. Uh, so there's two holes, one there and one there, and there there's a drawer that holds everything. I, I was thinking how to do with the screen and I like the idea of putting a screen with an arm so I can move it because it could be pretty far away from, the, uh, from you when it's tucked. And so you might want to have it closer when you do uh, your thing. This noise is just that cable. Then I put a pedal power here. It's uh, the Strymon Zuma. So whenever I need to put some uh, effect, I just put it there. I have uh, all the plug and it's gonna be super fast to have it working. I also have the model one that there that uh, at the moment I'm using uh, to basically mix all the stuff that is on this table, it will go in the out of my patch bay. 
so I can record on my uh, sound card. I set up everything there now. I'll talk about that in a second too because it's interesting what I did. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of about it. It's just like there's not a lot of things you can say about a desk, right? But since I have this one, I am loving it just to put things there, remove it, and blah, blah, blah. Super easy, super fun, and practical. To me, the desk is a workbench. It's like an artist workbench. You need to work with that. It has to look good, especially for somebody like me that also do a lot of video, but it also need to be solid, sturdy, practical, and, and no fuss. You build it, I build it by myself, it was crazy, and it's heavy. It's very heavy, 130 kilograms, it's crazy. But yeah, I really recommend the idea of separating the uh, workbench place where, where you will play from that part. Now, uh, Zao do also do the same desk with the rack space, which uh, of course some, some people might find interesting and useful. For me, it's better to have it there. So right now I have my Apollo. First, this is the um, Misa uh, rack mount, 12 space. Maybe I should have bought the 16 because I already ran out of space, but you know, it's always like that. Uh, it match, of course, the height and the look of these, which I love. Super sturdy too. And what I did, I put the sound card on top so I can control the volume just reaching out, super simple. And then I have the few tools that I use, the Overstay Modular Channel, the Fusion, uh, the Eventide H3000, the Prime Time, the Oberheim Matrix 1000, another eight in from the focus right pre and my patch bay everything now is connected very easily and simply so even with the patch bay unpatched all the ins and out goes uh, in my recording channel so that's a pretty complex thing that i think i'm gonna do a video about that because i thought about that a lot i hate to cables and i hate to patch so i try to keep things that works without any intervention but then now i can move everything and i can have um, everything at my fingertips so uh, all of my synth there are connected uh, all of the synth here will be connected through the model one uh, on the back i have the misa stand mark ii uh, i decided to go with that mostly because i wanted to have everything like matching and uh, I, I love the look there, even those are super sturdy. Again, I bought this thing, so it's uh, still uh, my, what I wanted, uh, my full uh, interest was in buying these things because I, I, I really like them. I also talked with a few other artists that had the Zaur um, furniture and they are a very good price for, for what they are, I think. I think this desk go for around 800 euro 700 something and uh, it, it, it's great honestly and, and super solid whatever so let me go now what are my advice to you when you are in the market for a desk first thing first look for something that it's durable and sturdy there's a lot of desks that are made very poorly of course are the cheapest one and after a few years they're gonna be wobbly they're gonna lose joint and so then you will have to buy again of course nothing lasts forever in the world we live on except the last for new gear but well, i should write down this beautiful quote uh, but i think investing in a desk is mandatory and important so first find out what is your workflow uh, do you need to use racks? Do you want to have those in front of you? You like to have the volume in front of you? You like to plug things in front of you? If that is a yes, then maybe you want a desk with a space on top. Me, I like a surface, big surface like this. So if you play with a lot of desktop scene, this is ideal. And maybe you can have something like this flat and then they have some 
uh, accessory that you plug in it and it gives you rack space and also you can put your uh, monitors on top so that could be another idea but your workflow is the key you like to have a place a surface where you put the things and leave it forever then maybe it's nice to have your rack there old cable and a, a little space because maybe all of your synths are racked somewhere else are in a jasper stand who knows then in that case you definitely might go with a smaller more modest desk also this one come in a smaller this is the big one and it's huge but if you need like me you are a person that you get bored of a setup and you know that you have to change all the time rewire all the time then this would work so i would go with more a table situation a desk a raising desk it could be very interesting if you have issue with your height if you are too short too tall maybe there's nothing like too short or too tall sorry if you're too <laughs> i don't want anybody to get offended by that uh, it might be interesting a lot of people likes to work standing and so that could be interesting to have a standing desk again for me it was a failure i never used it and uh, also the cable were always hanging and hard when you raise up uh, things get unplugged messy very messy uh, i like i like to have a situation where uh, for example the um plug for um pedals are always there so i don't have to unplug things so i just have it the zuma there it stay there but all this other space will is gonna be modular it's gonna be changing all the time except for the mixer there uh, or if i get this console probably then this is gonna be a full uh blank canvas so i see my de uh, desk my bench work as a canvas every day i'm excited like what am i gonna put in it and having this big of a space is like having a bigger canvas and real estate it's nice it's less clumsy it makes you makes your workflow easier and faster and you know you don't have to fight with space which is something that i don't like because i'm a big big guy all right how long this video is let me see oh already 20 minutes and i think it's enough um again that's enough if you have any question and you want to uh share your experience with desk please write down below with furniture in general it's a really important topic that not a lot of time is covered in videos but i find that whenever i i, I have the right tools for the trade my uh, creativity also get better so again next time i hope to do some music but also you know this last couple of weeks has been crazy building this space uh, getting into this amazing amazing community i said amazing again <laughs> like i cannot get rid of that word then uh, so if i get this console it's gonna be amazing well, I'll see you next week. And I hope this was interesting. Hit me up with all of your questions. Share your thoughts. Thanks. And I'll see you next week. Ciao.